We're Sid and Mackey, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to find the most unique and challenging mountain bike races around the world. Last week, we were racing 60 miles in Big Sky, Montana, battling torrential weather and imaginary grizzly bears. Is that a stomp or a bear? Did the bear go away? And now we're on our way to Canada for a six day stage race. However, before we crossed the border, we stumbled upon this hidden gem in Whitefish, Montana, and got a good reminder that not every mountain bike ride has to be epic, and sometimes what you need is a flowy cruise through a beautiful forest, and of course, an opportunity to beat your spouse at bike. I can't do it. Ugh. I get a letter. We are currently at the Whitefish Bike Retreat in Whitefish, Montana, and kind of came here by accident, but I am so glad we did. We were just in Big Sky for the Big Sky Biggie. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go check it out because it was truly, truly epic experience. We're obviously still a little tired, so we left Big Sky yesterday, drove up here to Whitefish, and one of our friends had recommended that we stay here. We did look online and we were like, oh, $50 for a campsite, like, no. The dispersed campsite that we found online turned out not to exist, so, you know, classic van life experience. And then we were just driving along, and we saw the sign for the Whitefish Bike Retreat, and we were like, what the hell, fine, it's seven o'clock at night. Um, at this point, $50 for a campsite, whatever. So we drove out here and it was just, it's super cute for starters. Like just all the little signs made out of bike parts. Every campsite has these little bike holders. What do you think? It's adorable. Place the place really is just cool. <laughs> adorable. They did a nice job with like signage and there's all the little trails around. Did and you just notice the mirror in the bathroom? Not specifically. The wheel. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's cool. <laughs> take, yeah, they did a good job it. of like incorporating a lot of bike stuff. Last night before we ate dinner, we got the bikes out, we rode around, played a game of bike. You know, like when you make the person behind you mess up, they get a B, etc. Naturally, I lost, but I did get Mackie to BI, so that is a victory as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so I think we are here-ish, and the trail that is right over there outside of our campsite can connect us into all of these. But frankly, this map is kind of useless, so we're gonna look at, aha, uh -huh. these are the trails that are the little mini trails here at the Whitefish Bike Retreat. We're right here, so we're gonna get on this trail and connect into, basically, I wanna go up to Beaver Lake. This morning, we are gonna go out for a ride, do a proper ride. We're still in recovery mode after Big Sky Biggie, so not going super hard, but I think this is the perfect place to just do a fun ride. Time to see how the legs are feeling after Big Sky Biggie. We have not ridden uphill <laughs> since that one time we rode uphill for 10,000 feet in a single day. <laughs> Oh, nice. Mackie, not your best. My front wheel. You're like a foot. Oh, man. Oh, my legs feel awful. However, so far this gradient is just about right. <laughs> really pretty forest they got here in Montana. 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 Yeah, we want to find huckleberries, we don't want to find bears. The problem is I don't know what huckleberries look like. I know what huckleberry jam looks like. Okay. Uh-oh, good decisions. Huh. Is, is there a map on my side? No, but there's a map on my phone. Yeah. I think okay. that's the hardest thing about riding places that are new is having to stop and look at every intersection. Luckily, we are still in recovery ride mode, but something we've been doing recently, even at home, since we only moved to Los Alamos like eight months ago and we don't know all the trails, is like programming a ride on our stage's dash. 
or online on Strava or whatever, uploading it, and then you can just follow the route. And you could definitely do that when you were traveling, if you were prepared and planning in advance, which naturally we were not, but that's okay. Whee! Wow, this is lovely though. Talk yeah. about like cruiser trail through the forest. Wee -hee! Something moving in the forest. <laughs> it's probably a squirrel. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> I wasn't expecting that rock. Good call. He's turning on his bell because this is fast and it seems like there could be hikers. Whee! Or bears. Probably more likely hikers. <laughs> Be the swampy one. Oh no, so maybe it's just that corner. No, pretty though. Cool to see the moose. Okay, I wish you riding with my boo. back into the whitefish bike retreat. Cool. I like this place. It's amazing. Yeah. I love this forest. It's so peaceful and beautiful. Oh, I didn't make that, but I tried. Fat bike route. Yes. I don't know how one gets enough speed. I mean, I guess it's only a foot off. You could just roll off. <laughs> okay, better about Ooh, this is pretty. Got a very beautiful view. So all of these trails in the winter are groomed for fat bikes. We don't have fat bikes, but Maybe we should do a fat bike trip at some point though. It's just something we've never done. A wee slow trail. It's pretty. Everything's pretty up here. 
sounding like a broken record. This is pretty, that's pretty. It's all pretty. I went over that stump and you didn't. <laughs> that one. Not oh, that one. And pump track. We tried this pump track last night. It's a little challenging on, uh, you know, a 29er XC bike. It's just a little long. Matthew. <laughs> All right. Almost. Almost. We're climbing back up. And then there's a fun wooden thing over here. Never miss a fun wooden thing. Okay. And this is how Mackie dies. <laughs> so we made it back to the Skills Park, which, as you can see, is very adorable. Um, we should play some more bike. Yeah, we played bike yesterday. Yeah, I said I mentioned that and how I was very pleased that I got you a B and an I, <laughs> but that I always lose. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Basically, the way the game works is you have to follow the leader and if you were gonna not talk. The skinny, uh oh, said, oh no, I've lost speed. Okay, good, man, he fell off too. Anyway, you follow the leader and whoever messes up either doesn't follow the leader or has a hood of foot down gets a letter. The problem is, like horse and basketball. Yeah, the problem is we're both kind of good at this, so it can go on for a while sometimes. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. The hard stops, that's how I got Mackie yesterday. Oh no. Well, that's not gonna happen in a million years. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, I get a letter. Yeah. Anyway, little skills parks like this are super fun and makes me realize I should do more playing on my bike because we actually have fun doing it. Yes. <laughs> I'm working on my sideways hopping back onto things. I feel like it's not outside of my skill ability. I just like find it for some reason oddly stressful. Now it is time for lunch and for us to hit the road and go to Canada. Yeah. Holy cow. On Monday, we'll be dropping the first of six videos from Single Track 6, a six day stage race in BC, Canada. So make sure you're subscribed. It doesn't cost you anything and it lets us know you want us to keep making videos. If you're on a phone or computer, just hover over or click our logo in the bottom right corner and then hit subscribe. If you're on a TV, click pause and use your remote to click the three dots on the bottom left of the screen, then click the center button that pops up that looks like the YouTube logo. See you Monday. And in the meantime, don't forget to be more awesome.